We're going to use the AlphaFold database in order to, as the first step to build an atomic model in a cryo EM map. So let's open up the, the map. Um, it's at the EM data bank. Its ID is 30495. So I'll say open 30495 from EMDB. Here's the map. The threshold's kind of low. I'll adjust the threshold. Oops. Okay, so this is was thought to be a mechanosensitive ion channel, something that might be involved in sensing pain. Oh, it was published just uh, this month, September 2021, in Nature. And they believe, in fact, it is not uh, the suspected uh, mechanosensing channel. Maybe it's involved in uh, lipid metabolism instead. Anyway, it's an interesting structure. Um, and the unique thing about it is there are, uh, were no known structures in the PDB um, until just a few months ago that were even remotely similar to this. So a blast search of the protein data bank, a sequence search uh, at a low threshold of, say, 20% identity or um, 10 to the minus 3 E value produced no similar sequences in the PDB. So how do we get started building an atomic model into this map? Turn on some better lighting. Well, I propose let's try AlphaFold, this uh, machine learning structure prediction program. And there's a database of models that were predicted for, uh, um, for all of the proteins in the human genome. And this is a human protein. So let's use AlphaFold and bring up a predicted model as a starting point to build this atomic structure. So I'll go to... Uh, this is something new in Chimera X. If you get a daily build from September 2021 or, or a newer version, it will have this structure prediction alpha fold. And I can paste a sequence in here. And, um, and uh, sorry, I'm just resizing my window. I saw that the status line was off the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to just paste in the sequence uh, from our cryoEM sample have that in a web browser. Let me bring that up. And I'll just copy and paste that into this alpha fold fetch. And I'll press the fetch button. So the protein data bank hosts this database of alpha fold structures. It's only for certain organisms, 21 different organisms, human and E. coli and mouse and mostly the um, the model system organisms. It opened it here quickly. I, I could tell because the, the darkness of my map changed, but it was out far away from the map. So there it is in blue. Let, let's focus in on it. So I'll hide the map. Let's see, let me uh, center my view on the structure. All right, so this is a transmembrane protein and it forms a dimer. AlphaFold only produce, predicts monomers. Uh, so we're looking at a monomer, and this bundle of alpha helices is the transmembrane portion, and then it has this other very long alpha helix, or two helices. Uh, so uh, let's try to fit this into the map. Um, bring back the map and see whether it matches our map, how well it matches our map. So first I'm going to just move it by hand, and the way I'll do that is I'm going to select well, actually, I didn't mention to you the coloring on this alpha fold model. The dark blue is areas where alpha fold was confident. It had the correct structure and yellow and red are less confident regions. OK, let's move it to the map now. I'm going to just select a residue, hold the control key, and I just click on some residue. And then I'm going to use a mouse mode. I'll click on this toolbar right mouse tab and use move model. So I'll click on that. And I'm on a Mac, if I hold the Option key down, or if I had a three-button mouse, I'd use the right mouse button. And then I can move it and keep the map still. So I'm just going to move it to the map. And I can see where the long alpha helis is. Um, when I just um, use this mouse mode and I just drag, it just translates it. But if I hold the Shift key, I can rotate as well. So I'm going to rotate, translate, out the shift key. Okay, that looks pretty good. 
All right, so the map is at 3.4 angstrom's resolution. I haven't got it in precisely the right location, but we're going to do just a local optimization of the fit to get it in a better, um, in, the, in the correct position. So let's do that. First, um, the map is at 3.4 angstroms, and there's a lot of detail here. And that will make it hard to see if the fit is right, harder to make the, to see that. So, and it will make it um, harder for the local optimization to, to reach the best fit. So let's make a lower resolution map first. I'll use this command to do Gaussian smoothing of the map. Volume Gaussian, number one, and then a standard deviation, uh, two angstroms. That, that gives an effective resolution about four times as high. This is the standard deviation of the Gaussian. It's going to smooth it with. So eight. this will give me about an eight angstrom resolution copy of my map. All right. So uh, my window just resized. Let me get it back into, into view here. Let me change the threshold. I'm going to hide the alpha fold panel now. We've got the alpha fold map, so we don't need that anymore. And uh, now I have, let me change the threshold of this smooth copy of the map. So now you see with my, at eight, ang you know, about eight angstroms resolution, the alpha helices stand out really clearly, and this is going to make it easier to fit. So let's fit the, do the optimization of the fit. I go to Tools, Volume Data, Fit and Map, and we'll say Fit, uh, yeah, this structure into this map, yeah, and let's just press the Fit button. There we go. So it, it did a local optimization of the fit, and you can see that, well, actually, we could see better if we made it transparent. So let me make the map transparent. Click the little color button here, pops up this color dialog. And we'll go like so and make it a bit transparent. Okay. And it looks kind of funny because I had this soft lighting mode. So I'm going to switch back to uh, this simple lighting mode. All right. We see that the transmembrane region, this bundle of several alpha helices, actually it all looks like it fits pretty well. But the long alpha helix at the bottom, um, it's close, but it's not really in the density. Um, it looks like we can make a little adjustment to that long alpha helix. It too would fit. Um, to understand why, why is that position different? Well, remember alpha fold only predicted a monomer structure. It had no idea the thing was packed as a dimer like this. And this long alpha helix um, packs with another long alpha helix from the other monomer. And so its exact position is going to be depend on the assembly, like how it contacts the other mem protein in the dimer. All right. So it's actually amazing. It got uh, a position that's as close to the correct location as it, as it did. All right. But we want a better starting model where it's really in the density. So how do we do that? Let's hide the map. And this, these long, uh, term, um, and terminal helices. Let me, um, find, um, first find the range of residue numbers. If I hover, I see it's like about residue 100. And at the other end here, if I uh, hover the mouse, whoops, this is residue one. So residues one through 100, I'm going to select those with command, select colon one through 100. And um, now that I've selected them, I could fit just those selected atoms into the map. So let me bring back my map. Let me go back. Um, you know what? I looked, if I look at the fitting dialog here, I see I fit it originally into the original map. I meant to fit it into the lower resolution map. Okay, it didn't matter in this case. It got the right fit anyways. But I'm going to fit these two long, the long helix into the lower resolution map. Because uh, I tried it before fitting into the high resolution map and it gets stuck in the wrong position. So I choose the, to fit into the low resolution map. And, th and then I choose to fit not this whole atomic model, but uh, the selected atoms. So I choose selected atoms. And there's one more step I need to do under options here. Um, there's an option at the bottom that says move whole mo molecules. We don't want to move the whole structure. We want to move just the selected atoms. So I turn that off. Okay. Sorry, let me resize my window. It made it a little bigger there. Okay, so let's, let's press, we're ready to press the fit button to try to fit this long helix. And there we go. It jumps nicely into the density. 
And so now we have both the transmembrane domain and the long um, kind of crossed helices in the dimer uh, fitting very nicely into the density. All right, so this would be an initial model. Um, and then we would go back to the original full resolution and we would try to um, refine all of the side chain positions and the backbone position. And we could do that in Chimera X with uh, a plugin called Isolde, uh, I-S-O-L-D-E. You can look it up on the internet. It's, some, it's a plugin developed by Tristan Kroll that lets you run molecular dynamics to uh, optimize the structure, refine the structure into the map. Let's cheat right now. We're not gonna do that step. Uh, that would take a lot of time. Let's cheat and just compare to the um, structure that the authors of this map deposited uh, just uh, last week. The PDB ID code is open seven is seven CXR. Let's say open seven CXR, and uh, here it is. Uh, it has two chains, of course. Let's see. Let me let me hide the other chain so we get a clearer view of how well our initial model fits. So I'll say hide slash B, chain B, ribbon, hide the ribbon. And you can see here, we have like a remarkably good fit. Like all of the helices are matched up with the exception of one, which sort of uh, slide, you know, bends out of the way here, which could be, can be easily fixed in Isolde, uh, pushed into the density. Okay. so. That gives you an idea how to use an AlphaFold database to make an initial model in cases where you don't have any homologous structure. The new normal technique would be you might have a related structure from a different species and you would use it as an initial model. Um, I'm going to show you in another video. Um, in this case, the AlphaFold database had this structure already pre-computed because it's a human protein. But uh, in another video, I'll show you a a chicken protein, and chicken is not one of the organisms in the AlphaFold database. And so I'll show you how to run AlphaFold on your exact sequence to predict your own structure as a starting initial model for building the atomic structure. Thanks for listening.